some of you may or may not remember this, but I finally got it back and figured it would be cool to go ahead and install it on the Tacoma. So I'm gonna make a couple modifications to it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this license plate bracket on it right now, may, may not. But um, this is the fold down spare tire hitch carrier that I made for the 4Runner. So I'll give you guys a good look at it and let you know what I've done to basically make it fit on the Tacoma and uh, we'll get it installed. See how it looks and uh, you guys can tell me what you think if I should leave it on or not. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's, uh, let's get started. Uh. There you guys go, got this set up. Hey look, there's Shea Moose. He's having a blast. He loves playing fetch out here. Anyway, so here's the setup originally had. That's kind of what it looks like from the side without the tire on. Again, I built this for the 4Runner. It fit perfectly along the back window. It worked out. And I thought it'd be really cool to just kind of add it on here. Thought it'd be kind of neat. Plus, I built it and I want to use it. So for those of you who did not watch the original how-to build video, this is what I got going on. So basically, I made this out of one of the, uh, I can't remember, uh, I think it was the draw tight hitch. I basically cut it, built this bracket right here, attached it right there, and um, I put it basically a square tubing inside and then connected two pieces. If I could weld, I would weld the joint, but for right now, it's perfectly fine because it's all bolted together. This section right here, you pull out this pin, and then it lays down as flat as you want. So the tailgate use will still be perfectly fine. You just pull that, and you're good to go. Now, right here, what we got going on is I built a license plate bracket, and the way I had it set up was you plug in this right here into the four post. That way it has lights whenever you need it to. You can unplug it really easy. I didn't want to hardwire it in. I wanted it to be just as removable as this. So you literally unplug it from there, unplug it from there, or unhitch it, and you're good to go. You have it off. So I may put another four pin connector on here. I'm still deciding if I need to move the license plate or not, or just take off this, this bracket for right now. So like I said, this is LED light with the license plate. And then I just have it mounted there. So I think, I think you'll be all right. And I think I'll be able to get away with leaving the license plate where it is because the tire will be high enough that it won't matter, but we'll take a look as well. Also, so I had this bracket on here as well. And what I did was I put the high lift across the back. So you have the spare tire up top and then the high lift across there. What I'll probably do, like I said right now, is just take that and that off. And if I need them, I'll put them back on. But for right now, I just have the tire. So again, let me get those two pieces off and uh, toss the spare tire on. And we'll take another look at it. And uh, like I said, you guys can tell me what you think. And for reference, that's what it looks like flipped down. I think it actually does go a little bit further, but that's, that's as far as it goes. And the way I made it was, I had this stick out a bit because I like to use this as a skid. So it kind of has something to, to rub against and it hits this first before anything else. And it worked really well, especially on the 4Runner because the 4Runner had all the plastic stuff underneath. So that's what it looks like. Then with the tailgate down, you'll look just like that. Right there is the joint that I talked about that I'm gonna have welded together. So I just need it tacked on and it'll be fine. Uh, so like I said, I have a sleeve of uh, steel, uh, square steel going through there and it's bolted in together. So again, it was just kind of my fix for not having a welder and it worked fine, but I do want to tack it on just to make it stronger and, and be able to get rid of the, the bolt itself. Also, one of the other things that I ran into, it does rattle a bit right there. So I wanted to try using a bolt this time to help with that. And I'm also getting one of those anti-rattle uh, mounts for down here. So I'll attach that on as soon as it shows up too. It's one of those U bolts with the plate on the bottom. So as soon as that comes in, I think that's really gonna help out a lot with this. Uh, it should actually eliminate it completely. And boom, there you guys go. It is attached. Obviously I need to swap this tire out and put the mud train on there. Just haven't done that yet. It's been underneath, I just keep forgetting about it. It's actually in the bed, I need to get it on there. I think that'll make it look a little bit more meaner. But anyways, that is the setup. Yeah, I think you can still read the license plate just fine. Here behind me. Yes, it gets rid of the rear view camera, but I don't use that that often anyways. So, if you guys are curious, that's what it looks like. I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Yes, I got the backpack on there. I had it, why not use it? So, again, that's the setup. And once I put that little anti-rattle hitch pin 
or hitch device. I think that'll help out a lot and I get that tack welded too. But for now, that's it. Not too bad, pretty sturdy. And yes, I have used this on the trail. If you haven't watched our other videos, I had this on the 4Runner and ran around an entire Moab with it. And uh, it did just fine, so that was really cool. We got perfect amount of clearance there. And again, what I like is it gives me a little bit something there to hit. And I usually hit that first versus hit this um, and, and hitting my hitch. So again, I'm a little bit further out, but we'll see how it actually does on the trails. And for now, just kind of a concept. I had it lying around. So why not? As always, hope you guys are doing well. If you got any questions, comments, leave them and I will reply to you all. Hope to see you guys on the trail and I hope everyone is doing well.